Honeybee hygienic behavior is the ability of a honeybee colony to identify and remove sick honeybee brood, and in doing so, the honeybee colony can protect itself from the spread of diseases. It is a very important social immune behavior for the survival of colonies against pests and diseases. However, does it work with new emerging diseases? The term hygienic behavior was coined by Warden Bueller in 1964 studying American fault brood, an important bacterial disease of honeybees. But the first observation that led to the discovery of hygienic behavior happened way before. In 1935, when beekeepers and researchers observed that some honeybee colonies did not succumb to American fault brood, considering them resistant to American fault brood. But at the same time, a very interesting observation was made, and I quote, The bees sometimes remove and dispose of larvae very soon after they die, thus eliminating the evidence. Interestingly, years later following this observation in 1942, it was discovered the first instar larvae from either resistant or susceptible colonies were equally susceptible to American fault brood. And also, larvae inoculated more than two days and five hours after hatching from the egg did not become infected at all. So what's going on here? So now the researchers have a problem. They knew that some colonies were truly resistant to American fall brood, but how do both larvae from resistant and susceptible colonies get sick equally in laboratory conditions? So now the scientists have a big problem because they know they, in the field they have bees that are resistant to American fall brood. But when they bring those bees to the laboratory and infect them with uh, spores, so they know that the resistant and non-resistant bees get infected at the same ratio. So what's the explanation for that? What is the mechanism behind the resistance that was observed? It was later that the researchers observed that the adult bees from resistant colonies were able to remove the majority of the diseased brood from the cells, and bees from susceptible colonies did not. They then concluded that colony resistance is dependent on behavioral removal of diseased brood by adult bees, rather than physiological resistance of the brood against the infection itself. However, it was not too much later that another important question came up. How do hygienic bees remove sick brood and don't get infected themselves, nor transmit disease to another larvae they will take care of later? It is a very important question since we know that the removal of sick bees involved carrying the sick individuals and sometimes even cannibalizing them as part of the process. Therefore, hygienic bees would have the potential to spread the disease even further. By the way, this video is brought to you by my fellow patrons on Patreon. If you like this kind of content and think you can help me to keep doing it, please consider becoming a patron of this channel. Thank you. How they don't get sick themselves is an easy one. Adult bees don't get infected with American fall brood bacteria. Only larvae younger than 2 days and 5 hours old are susceptible. How they don't transmit the disease to other larvae is related to the timing of the removal of the sick brood. Hygienic bees remove sick bees faster than non-hygienic bees. Basically, American fowl brood, Penibacillus larvae, a spore-forming bacteria, are infectious at late stages of its life cycle, and hygienic honeybees are able to detect early stages of the infection and get rid of the infected brood before the bacteria inside these sick bees become infectious again, and this way helping to stop the spread of this terrible bacteria to other larvae. So this was the beginning of our understanding of hygienic behavior in honeybees, and today, after 80 years, it is common sense that hygienic bees are better to keep our food production going. So it was not a surprise to me to see beekeepers very confused what? when I posted a video a couple weeks ago about the researcher Dr. Jay Evans and colleagues showing a new virus transmission pathway that might challenge the whole concept of hygienic behavior as the way to go to keep bees healthier. Hygienic behavior evolved under specific circumstances and as far as we know, it works fine against older diseases of honeybees, as American fall brood, chalk brood, etc. 
However, with the rise of today's number one honeybee nemesis, Varroa Destructor, aka Varroa Mite, the hygienic behavior common sense might need to be reevaluated. I want to invite you to join me and Dr. Jay Evans, former research leader of the USDA Honeybee Research Laboratory in Beltsville, Maryland, live on Saturday, the 27th at 2 p.m. Eastern Time to discuss this fascinating subject. What do we know about this new virus transmission pathway? What are the implications of the discovery and what can we do to make our honeybees healthier? The event is free to everyone, it will be a great opportunity for all of us to learn together about this interesting topic. I will leave a link in the description of this video so you can register for the event. If you missed my previous video about hygienic behavior, please click the thumbnail on the screen right now to watch it before this event. I hope you can make it. Thanks for watching Inside the Hive.tv, the show about bees. See you guys next week.